All right, West Michigan, busy day, very active day, and dependent on where you live and our temperatures. We've seen rain continue to move in more and more this morning. You can see the shine there on the roadways in cold water. Uh, others around the I-96 corridor, still dry, but not for long. This rain is quickly approaching I-96 this morning. So you can see that light to moderate rainfall as it will continue to move north and east all throughout the day. This bigger system will have to make its way through our entire region until we dry out by late morning tomorrow. So here's what this looks like on future track. Again, I said very temperature dependent. A few degree difference can really change things with this forecast. Plus, our ground temperatures still pretty warm for this time of year. We were warm yesterday. We had additional cloud cover overnight. Still warm this morning. So mainly rain south of I-96. That mixing line is going to hover around I-96 and then transition to that snow northward. It's going to be more of a, a wet slushy snow consistency. We could get some heavy bursts and some heavy bands in this throughout the late morning till about midday. We'll take a few breaks in the afternoon for some of us and then get another push later on this evening that will continue then overnight. Notice all day long that splitting line with our temperatures with the rain and the wintry mix and snow really will stay around the I-96 corridor. Of course, it can hover and meander, uh, but that will be the trend for the day today. These temperatures, you really have to travel far north, uh, Hart and Big Rapids or even Greenville to get anywhere at or below the freezing mark. Then we're in the mid to upper 30s and lower 40s. So these temperatures are really going to play a role in whether you see that rain, that wintry mix, or that snow. And the warmer temps are really going to mitigate even some of our snowfall totals. A northeast wind, a little bit breezy today. We're going to hover around the upper 30s. More south you are, warmer. More north you are, cooler. So a, a hard forecast today with our temperatures and our conditions. It's ever changing depending on where you live. 32 degrees overnight. We'll continue with that rain snow mix. It'll taper off early tomorrow morning. So in the meantime, between now and tomorrow morning, any additional rain, any additional warmer temperatures really will settle down our snowfall totals. So much of it being along and north of I-96, an inch to two, maybe three inches of wet slushy snowfall. We do not have a winter weather advisory, so I don't think there'll be major road impacts. Definitely you can still run into a slick spot or two throughout the morning, whether it be for the rain or this transition to wintry mix. We'll gain our first round through the first half of the day and then gain more of that snowfall later on this evening overnight into tomorrow morning. It's just the kind of day that you got to stay with us. Stay very weather aware for what your temperature is for where you are or where you're traveling to. By late tomorrow morning, we'll dry out. Stay dry then for the rest of your Saturday. Mostly cloudy conditions and we're going to teeter totter back and forth between this rain snow mix as we'll usher it back in again on Sunday. I think again, very light accumulations and that can linger into Monday morning. These temperatures hovering in the upper 30s through the weekend, even on Monday. 37 degrees then on Tuesday. We're dry finally Wednesday and Thursday. Thursday, back to 41 degrees. That's where we should be on average this time of year. In the next 8 to 14 days, Climate Prediction Center continues to put us in these above average temperatures through mid-December.